Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you how to make basic models for entities in Minecraft and how to make them appear in the world. And you're going to need Mod Loader for this tutorial. You're also going to need basic coding experience, including how to create an entity, because I'm not going to teach you that. And you need to have MCP, because I'm not doing this without MCP. So, after you have MCP set up, if you don't have MCP set up, I'd go watch a tutorial on that. But So, once you have MCP set up, I already have here this entity test that I'm going to use for this. And for the texture, since I'm not going to be teaching how to do that today, or right now, you want to change it to something that doesn't exist in the game so that you can still view it. So I just replaced the mob with mob1, and it's just going to generate the default texture if there's nothing. So this is an entity test. I basically copied cow and erased some stuff. But you can make yours do whatever. I'm not doing anything for that. And then you need a mod loader file so that you can add a spawn to the world. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make a mod underscore and then whatever you want to call it dot java file. And then hopefully you know how to set one of these up. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And you have to import the map here because that's what you use to make it appear in the world. Public class And then you need your string. Um, also, since I might forget some of the code, I have a second file with all of this already written in it. Just to make sure I get it all right. So you need public string version. Yeah, that's right. And then you just return whatever here, but you should already know this. Okay, so now we're going to use mod loader to register the entity into the game. And to do that, we're going to use mod loader dot register entity id. Yeah, and then you do net minecraft dot whatever you call it. So you need to do entity and then whatever you called it. And then, after this, you just give it a name, so let's call it test. And then you need to give it an ID, so the best way to do this is you just do modloader.getUniqueEntityID. And, okay, so I did all that right. Now we're going to make it spawn in the game, so we're going to do modloader. Add spawn. And so, yeah, after you do that, you do the chance. So, it's just for testing purposes, I like to make it ridiculously high, like 5 9, so that a lot of them will spawn. Because, and then, like, you, then the next, so that's the chance of it then this number is going to be the smallest amount that the groups can spawn in and then the next number is the biggest amount so if you just do one then they can only do they can only spawn in groups of one and then you need to uh say what kind of creature this is so if it's a monster or a normal creature which spawns during the day monsters only spawn during night and then i forget what it is for water but that would make it spawn in the ocean. So enum creature type dot creature so that it'll just spawn for us during the day. And that's why you want to make it ridiculously high because since 1.8 the animals are persistent and they don't spawn nearly as much. So that's all we need in here for now. Next we need to write a file which I actually don't remember most of so
Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I'm using a trial version and it limits me to five minutes. So, basically we're right here and now we're going to go make the render class which is the thing that I don't remember how to do. So, I'm just going to be using my reference and the first thing you need, of course, is package net minecraft. And this isn't lighting up because I haven't saved it as a Java yet. So my program doesn't think, my uh, text editor doesn't know what kind of coding I'm using. So I'm just going to save this as render, and then I'll call it hi Java. So after I have that, then I need to do public class rend i extends render living so then you need public render high float f And then here is what you say. Like for most of them, it uses a model base here, which tells it it can use whatever model you set to it. But here we're just going to set it to the model that we're going to make, and we're going to call that model. Or I'm going to call it model high. You can call it whatever. You just need to make sure these names match. So you do super new model high. So what that does is it tells it what to use for it so it's like using that model to generate this and then you have public void render render okay render lowercase and then you do ht living float f float f1 okay so that seems to be everything for that and then you just do render high yeah entity living d1 d2 f1 and yeah, I did that right. So then this is so that's basically what sets up the render. Then you need public and this is what actually does it. And there's only two floats. Okay. And then you just do render high entity living entity d d1 d2 f f1. And yeah, I did that right. So that's all you actually need for the render class for basic things. If you're going to make it have special effects like the chicken does when it's falling, you need to add other stuff, but I'm not going to be teaching that right now. And I only have a couple second I only have about a minute left in this and then I'll have to start a new segment and then I'll just split, put them all together to make a 15 minute video with some cut out probably. So I'm going to save that. And now we get to actually start making the model. And this isn't going to be anything fancy, but what you do is you do um, oh, oops, at Minecraft C, um, save this as model high Java and then you need 
Okay, so that was the five minute mark there. So, I have five more minutes to finish this up. I'll probably split this up into two parts. So, public class model high public model high and am I missing something from here? No. And then you're going to need also you're going to need public void render yeah and you can need a lot of stuff in here so entity entity how many is it? five okay and then for the for one thing you want to do right here is super render entity f f one yeah and then you just do all those f three f four f five and then set rotation angles Uh, oh, you don't put entity here. Okay, so that's all we're going to need under there for now. Uh, you need five again, not six. That seems to be right. And then the one thing you're going to need in here is super set patient angles F, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. And then this, this right here is mostly used for animation. Well, actually, that's all it's used for, unless you want like fixed angles. But, and but we won't be getting to that today, so you just can leave it like that. And that's basically setting it up. And in the next part, I'll be showing how to actually start adding things to it, because right now this would appear as nothing.